Hi everyone, I'm back with my next uh, set of projects. Um, I've been shoemaking and altering and uh, this particular one um, was um, made or altered uh, using a ceramic shoe uh, that I purchased from a thrift shop. Now um, this base fabric is uh, it's a beautiful ribbon embroidery fabric that I uh, that I took apart from a lady's top and I avocado dyed it and got this beautiful pink color. So I used that as the base of the shoe, as you can see, and then I just embellished it with this gorgeous applique in pearls with a little bit of a silver thread in it and this Aurora Borealis uh, earring. Um, so it's just sparkles and glitters all over. And then I used various pieces of the trim um, to decorate uh, the side and the base of the shoe. And as you can see, the back is, um, uh, again, this uh, pearled applique with the silver thread and, and rhinestone. And then I use this dangly rhinestone piece to dangle off the back. So the back of the shoe is really decorative. And uh, just continued using that uh, border all around the shoe and like an asymmetrical uh, look. And then um, I used some silk fabric to make the cushion and some pretty stick pins and coordinating colors to match the shoe. And uh, that's the ceramic one that I've altered. Uh, the next one is the, um, uh, the stuffed shoe. Again, uh, I used the same uh, style, the Victorian style boot to make this one in this pretty uh, uh, greenish base fabric and I just put a layer of tulle on top it really softens it up and then I had this uh, applique that uh, uh, is in um, in pink and pink green and lavender colors which is really nice and it had a lot of these rhinestones on it and sequins um, encrusted on top and uh, really made the shoe rich and sparkly and uh, I repeated the same applique on the other side, as you can see, using um, a peachy pink colored tool. I made a ruffle for the opening, the shoe and the mouth and using the same uh, rosettes for the front. Uh, to finish that off and then the back is uh, these dangle uh, dangle pearls in uh, this organza ribbon and um, some seam binding in a greenish color and then I added these uh, two little rosettes and a handmade rosette for the back to embellish the back and added a couple of stick pins uh, in coordinating uh, colors in the pink and green and uh, that's the one shoe now the next one is a boot style, a Victorian boot style, and uh, similar to the ones that I've made previously, um, using um, some pretty um, uh, crocheted um, uh, doilies for the base. Gives it a nice lacy look, and these have been tea dyed. Uh, and uh, just repeated the design on the other side with the pretty buttons to form a, a closure for the boot. And these uh, pearl studded uh, wedding dress appliques for the top, this Battenberg lace at the top again for some uh, ruffling. And a gorgeous crocheted flower here with a pearl accent center. And dangles in lace and pearls on the side of the uh, of the flower and again a couple of stick pins um, added to the uh, to the boot um, and you can use this again as a uh, pin cushion or just for a decorative piece anywhere you like um, I had posted these uh, wedding slippers uh, already on my uh, Facebook page. Um, I will be uh, putting some of these projects on Etsy, as I mentioned. Uh, these ones will definitely go on since, uh, you know, I was married 32 years ago, so I really don't have much use for it. The reason why I did these is because I had found these pretty satin, white satin slippers, brand new, um, and I thought, uh, I thought we could uh, transform these into uh, uh, some pretty bridal slippers which I did using some uh, gorgeous uh, wedding dress appliques I stacked a few flowerets on top of each other to create a little bit of dimension and again the uh, the pearl uh, uh, the pearl um, uh, earrings um, as the center of it and uh, repeated the um, 
the appliques in the in the uh, inside of the of the shoe and then just for a little bit of fun I added a little uh, couple of banners here that says uh, uh, today's the day um, I say I do um, and um, this is a is this is a pretty uh, pair of slippers for a bride to wear while she's getting ready or putting on her makeup or her dress uh, inside the house and uh, it becomes a nice little keepsake uh, for uh, for later on and my last pair of uh, altered shoes again they are a set of ballet shoes uh, as I mentioned before, uh, my husband had found uh, uh, me a couple of pairs of these. These are brand new. They are authentic ballet shoes, as you can see from the bottom. Um, and uh, they're made in England. Uh, and I just um, embellished it with using um, some new rhinestone necklaces for the toe. And they're very sparkly and decadent. And I lined the inside with some uh, embroidered... Uh, um, fabric uh, snippets uh, with some pearls and uh, again some wedding dress applique all around the inside this pretty lace ruffle on the mouth of the shoe uh, all around and uh, the rhinestone uh, the rhinestone piece continues to the back with this uh, ribbon embroidery on the side and then the back again is trimmed off with this uh, uh, ribbon, uh, ribbon applique, and a, a larger pearl um, on both of them. So as you can see, um, they are really, really pretty um, under glass. I do have a pair myself that I keep under glass, and they again um, are really pretty in a little girl's room or um, in a, you know, in your uh, craft room or wherever you keep your collect collectibles. They also make a really pretty gift for anyone who uh, who loves ballet. So that's my ballet slippers, the next pair, and uh, I'll be back again with some more projects uh, right after this. So stay tuned. Thanks for now.